You know what really grinds my rear guards? Me talking in circles because I babble on like an idiot because my brain doesn't work logically for some reason. So this is actually, let's start out with the name first. So this is actually, there's some Japanese that can read here. This is, oh, and the Zero of Dragons while I'm at it. If you haven't watched the latest episode of Kafa Vega GZ, which is episode 3, they showed what the Zero Dragon of Magalanica's skill and what it can do. Uh, this guy over here, but unfortunately I can't remember his name at this point in time. Not only that, but details about how to perform Ultimate Strike as well as the risk involved in doing so has been released, which is, uh, in order to Ultimate Strike, you actually have to discard one card with the same name as your Vanguard in order to do so. But at the end of the turn, when, it, when the Zerov Dragon actually goes back to the uh, uh, G-Zone, you actually have to exile or remove from play your entire GB. So you have zero GB at the end of it. Our good friend and YouTube senpai Different Fight, he actually released a video and he described a little bit about the the drop rate of, of these ZR cards that are going to be released in Ultimate Strike GPT-13. And if you haven't seen that video, you should actually go check it out uh, if you can. I'll find a way to, I'll try to remember to put a link somewhere uh, on this video so you guys can see it. So it begs the question, why is there a fear of a low drop rate of these ZRs? Considering what the Magalanica Zero Dragon skill is, you can expect that the rest of the Zero Dragons are going to be just as fantastic. And knowing Vega Boost logic, the latest set is always going to be the strongest set. I mean, look at the Link Joker Clan booster for crying out loud. Considering the skill of just this one Zero Dragon, if the demand for the Zero Dragons is actually going to be high, then why isn't our minds at ease over the fact that, uh, you know, there's going to be enough supply to meet those demands? I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good that they included the the, uh, the part where you have to remove from play all of your GB, so it gives you that doubt of, yeah, but I lose all of my GB afterwards. Because it helps make the decision for some players to decide that they don't need it. And so not every player in the world has to have the Zero Dragons in their G-Zone. But it still doesn't lift that worry, because for someone like me who's actually organizing uh, box purchases, boost purchases for, for crossbow vanguards, it doesn't put me at ease at all. If the supply does not meet the demands of these Zero Dragons, then until a plan can be enacted to rectify it, your so-called ultimate strides are gonna be an ultimate waste of cash and time because I lose all of my GB afterwards. Now this was shot before one of their weekly Tuesday live streams that Vega always does. So if they did announce its drop rate, then you can expect a what happened video or grinds my regards video depending on what was announced. But if the drop rate of the ZRs isn't addressed before the date of November 17, 2017, which is the release date for Ultimate Strike, that is what grinds my regards. Alright, time to go back to work. I gotta edit this thing at the same time.